Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is December 28th. I can't believe how close it is to next year. Anyways, I wanted to share some happy mail that I got uh, over the last few days. Um, some of these came sooner at my sister's, but I just got them on Christmas Eve when we visited. Anyways, there's laundry going in the background. I can't help it. <laughs> it's real life. I need some towels. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm just hanging out on the living room today. Look at my blankets. They're just sitting here waiting to be lined. <laughs> but um, anyways, let's get into happy mail. So I got a bunch of Christmas cards and some baby gifts that I want to share with you guys. So yeah, and I also got my light bill, but that's not important. And our new prescription insurance cards. <laughs> Boring. All right, let's get into the Christmas cards. All right, no particular order. I'm burning up. I gotta get a fan. <laughs> this is from Chantel in Canada. This is such a cute card. It says, warmest Christmas wishes from Canada. <laughs> and it's got all the little woodland critters on there. My hand's tremoring. It is so cute. Thank you so much. And I still have all my cards hanging up. I have started taking Christmas down, like my tree. It's still there, but there's no ornaments on it. I'm waiting for Devin to take it down because I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> I'll take the ornaments off and the garland, but he's got to get the lights off and take the tree down. Because I, I will die probably. Anyways, back to the cards. This one, I love this card. This is from Stacy in Michigan. She put stickers all over the card. There's some on the front too. And it's a Star Wars card. When I first opened it, I seen the back and I was like, oh, I got all excited because it's a Star Wars card. And it is so cute. So thank you so much for that and your note that was in there. Thank you. Put that back in there. Anyways, what I was saying is my card is still up and I'm gonna hang these ones up and I'll probably leave them up for a while. <laughs> I am gonna put my Valentine's Day decorations out here soon because I'm afraid I might not be able to when it gets closer to Valentine's. Um, Devin's gonna help me because he's gotta take all the snowflakes down that are on the ceiling almost and put the hearts up. <laughs> so he, I gotta wait till he's off. All right, this one is from Kim and she lives really close to me. She has a channel, which I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, her little stamp was a Rudolph Red Nose Ranger stamp. But she lives close to me. And she says her uh, her handle is Small Town Needle Works. I'm going to set this aside so that everybody who has a channel that I know of, I can link them. I think she has a channel. Maybe she just sells stuff. Yeah, she has a channel. Okay. But anyways, this is the card she sent. I didn't even show it. It's a pretty one. It says, uh, Blessings at Christmas. And she sent me one of her little business cards. But I'll link all that stuff down below. So that's why I need to set that aside. Give me that card back. Okay. All right. This next card is from... Okay, I ripped it. I have to look at the... Uh, oh, gosh. Kaylina? Is that how you say that? I hope I'm saying it right. Kaylina from Georgia. Oh, yeah, my own, my own Utopia. Uh, that is the channel. I'll link that below, too. But here is her card. Santa chilling. I assume this is Santa after Christmas and he's just like chilling, you know, recuperating from being busy and digesting all those cookies. <laughs> so I'll set this side too and link her. All right, let's see her. This one, I thought this was a cool card too. This is from Ed Antoinette. I think it's how you say it. From Indiana. I always forget state abbreviations. It's not Antoinette. Huh? Let me try that again. Anionet. I can't tell if that's an N or a R. I suck at reading cursive. <laughs> Please forgive me. You have a channel as well. But this is the coolest card ever. Because look, it's a Christmas card, but it's like a unicorn and rainbow Christmas card. <laughs> that is so cool. It says, I'm dreaming of a rainbow Christmas. That's really neat. Really, really nice not in there. And, and I'll link your channel down below as well. I was just watching one of your videos last night uh, when I was editing. And then she also said this uh, ornament. <laughs> It's an angel. I actually almost made some of these this year. I'll probably make some next year. These were on my list of ornaments to make, and I never didn't get around to it. It was the same pattern, I think. But since that, yeah, I was watching your last Vlogmas video last night while I was editing um, my Vlogmas. All right, let's see here. This is from Elsmeralda. She has a channel too. Um, hers is God Rocks. What's the numbers? 2107. I'll link her below as well. So she sent me this pretty one. Pretty cardinal. And it says, Merry Christmas, send in love at this special time of year. Got our stack there. Whew, I'm burning up. <laughs> this one is from Carla in California. A really pretty um, nativity scene. It's got some glitter. Like pretty much all the baby Jesus is glittery and then 
little accents of all the other people are as well. Ah. Perla. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure I said that name right. Um, sometimes I mess up names and I always feel so bad about it. All right, this one is from Jennifer in Louisiana. It's a cute little polar bears. It always makes me think of Coca-Cola. My hands are shaking again. And it says, warm holiday wishes. They're so cute with their little hats on. And then this one is from Trisha in Pennsylvania. Really pretty wreath. Merry Christmas, it's so pretty. I keep checking to make sure. Okay, this is Trisha's, Trisha's Creative Treasures. So let me set that there, okay. I got this special stack here. They should be linked below unless I just forget. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to remember to link them all below. All right, this next one is from Germany. This is from another YouTuber. It's J Hook Crochet and her name is Reggie. But um, this beautiful card. Oh Lord, good grief. There you go. <laughs> and it's, it's in German. <laughs> so I'm never gonna try. I'm assuming it says something to do with Merry Christmas. <laughs> this beautiful. I'm pretty sure I got one last year from her too. And um, I keep all my cards. So I'd have to dig through, but I just love getting, it's so cool to get stuff from other countries. But yeah, so when I saw that, I was like, ah, Germany. But she also included, this is like a little magnet of a sheep with a magnet around his belly. <laughs> that makes sense. It's like he's stuck on something. So this is going to go on my refrigerator. Or maybe my cart. Is my cart metal? I think it's plastic. <laughs> and then she sent two uh, German teas. Um... This one says, it's in German, but it looks like it says maybe lavender and verbena tea. Just because of the words, they look kind of like lavender and verbena. And this one says chai tea something. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's a chai tea with mint in it maybe. I don't know, they're mysteries. <laughs> but I'm assuming because this looks like lavender and verbena tea. So, cool. <laughs> Put those up there. Alright, uh, so that's all the cards, except I did get a card from Valerie, but it came in like a package form. Because <laughs> it has a keychain in it. This is Valerie from Valer Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And I'll link her below as well. I like your little mailer. It's so cute. And it's got peanut stickers on it, because she loves peanuts. And then the card is a peanuts one. I got two of these ones last year. I remember seeing them on my wall. <laughs> so now I got three of these in my box, at least. It is glittery. You just can't see it. The snow is glittery. Thank you, Valerie. And inside of that, she included this cute little keychain of an angel. And it says on the back, <clears throat> clear my throat. <laughs> For he shall give his angels charge over thee to guide thee in all the, thy ways. Merry Christmas 2021 from Val. So that's so cute. I'll put that on my, my purse's keychain thing so that I'll have it with me all the time. So that's all the cards that I got. Let me move this. I'll put those there. So then I got some packages. Uh, two of these are gifts that were just sent. You know, I wasn't expecting them. And then the other four are from the, the baby uh, registry. I always forget that word. So first I got this adorable little card and package from Christy. Oh, my hand's shaking. It is so cute. It is pink. You can't see it. There you go. <laughs> it is so cute. But thank you so much. And she made the cutest... Um, Little hat ever. It's knitted. Look at it. It's pink and it's knit so it's nice and stretchy. Oh, it's so cute. I got so many beautiful things that you guys have made and sent to her. I cannot wait to put it all on her and take pictures. There'll be plenty of pictures. Maybe not there at first. <laughs> but once we get home and things get situated, you know, I'm going to be changing her all the time, putting on stuff you guys have sent and take a picture so everybody can see her in all the pretty things you've made. And um, it's just going to be so cute. I can't wait to, to use these things. So thank you so much, Christy, for that. That is so adorable. The next gift, this one I wasn't expecting at all. It actually came like an order. It came from Mary Maxim, which I've never ordered from. So when I got it, I was like, what is this? <laughs> and when I opened it, it was a, it's a rattle kit. It's called Amigurumi Kit Baby Rattle Collection. And it's the Fox by Circu, Circulo. But here's what it looks like. I already opened it and got it out and then I put it back in there so that you guys can see it. And it comes, you can't see it all, I'll just open it. It comes with everything you need to make the, the rattle. So this card has the pattern on the back of it, which I'm not gonna share because it's uh, 
pay for. And this bag has the hook, some black yarn for the um, tips of the ears and the nose and the little ah uh, stitches parts. It's also got a yarn needle and a stitch marker. And then here are the main colors of the fox. A little bag of stuffing. And the wood thing, I don't know what these are called. <laughs> the teether part of the rattles, like the handle. And then the rattle. <laughs> Which is so cool. Um, so this is cool. I don't know who bought it because it didn't say. It, whoever bought it sent it just straight to me like it was the order, you know. But I appreciate it. And I can't wait to, I'll probably work on, start working on this today, actually. Because this could be my watch you working on Wednesday project for tomorrow. Get it all back in the bag so I don't lose it. What size hook is that? It looks really small. It is a 2.5. That's like a C. Is that a C hook? Yeah, a C hook. <laughs> That's small. But I'm going to try to make it the right way. I've never made a rattle. I recently bought one kind of like this, but it wasn't crochet. It was a sewn one. And uh, it had the thing on there. It's a Golden Girls one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so thank you so much, whoever sent this. And I will definitely use it. I'll probably work on it later today when I'm watching TV. Um watch murder shows <laughs> all right now these next gifts are from the the amazon baby registry and uh god's getting close <laughs> it's almost time to have this this baby all right Get them closer so i can go all right this first one is from valerie actually i think two of them are from valerie yeah right here these first two are from valerie the same valerie i was just mentioning she'll be linked below anyways but this is kids play organized set it's bath uh foam letters and I don't know if the numbers are in there I know the letters are in there for sure and it's also got like a bag and sucky things for you to hang it up with these I love because with Jesse his ended up getting thrown away because they were so used and falling apart but these are how I taught him his alphabet and his numbers and we worked on it during bath time every night when he was um around a year old is when I started like getting him to copy me saying what they were um and I have a video, If I, could, I wish I could find the clip. I probably won't be able to find it because I have so many videos of him. But I have a video of where he's about, uh, I don't know, 14 months old. And he's reading all these. He knows I'm, I'm holding them up and he's telling them what they are. So I wanted to get another set for June because Jesse's are long gone. Because he ended up, you know, chewing on them and playing with them and stuff as well. And um, so now I can teach her her alphabet and letters with these two at bath time. <laughs> Obviously, this is going to be later in life. You know, it's not going to be right after she's born. But it, I'll have it when it's ready to go. <laughs> so, thank you, Valerie, for that. And then the other thing she got is um, my sister tapes the card, the, the receipts on there, the uh, gift receipts. She got this, but it's on the front. What is this called? It's called Spike uh, the Fine Motor Hedgehog. So, it's just a toy for babies to take the little quills in and out to get good at using their hands. It says 18 months plus, but I gave stuff to like this to Jesse when he was like six months. And I think that's really what helped him develop a lot better, uh, a lot quicker. He's always had really good motor skills. That's uh, like his Legos. He, he's been playing Legos for years. Um, so I think giving stuff like this to them when they're littler, it helps a lot. Plus, you know, she can like nub, nub on it and stuff. Um, so I think she'll like that a lot. <laughs> Jesse will probably end up playing with that too. And then this one is from Karen. These, I opened them because I wanted to, like, fill them and stuff. These are burp cloths that you, like, hang over your shoulder. <laughs> so this one is this print. I love this one. I know they're just going to get all spit up on, but they're still pretty. <laughs> and they are 100% cotton. I threw the packaging away. <laughs> but they're 100% cotton both sides, and they're washable, obviously. So, and this one's got cute little hearts. And this one's got some ones. So these will be handy. We'll probably use these, you know, in the diaper bags and stuff, and, uh, They'll get used, I'm sure. <laughs> so thank you, Karen, so much for those. And then this is from Carla. She has a channel as well. I will link her channel below. Let me let me peel this off so I can remember to link her down below as well. This, I didn't even know these existed when I had Jesse, <laughs> or I would totally bought one. It's a formula mixer. You uh, fill it up with the amount of water and the amount of powder, and then it spins. This one I think has a button that you like push, like a salad spinner. 
and it mixes it up and then you can keep it in your fridge for easy access. I wish I had known these existed when Jesse was um, <clears throat> a baby. Uh, this is something that would be used further into her aging. <laughs> you know, not right away because we won't need a whole lot of formula on hand right away. Uh, but as she starts drinking bigger bottles, this will help a lot because then I can just go in there, fill up the bottle, heat it up, and go on. I don't have to mix it all and all that stuff. But uh, I'm looking super forward to this because this would have been so handy when Jesse was a baby, especially in the middle of the night, you know, when they wake up. <laughs> and because then it'd be already mixed and just in there chilling. And then all you gotta do is heat it up and go. <laughs> so thank you so much, Carla, for that. I'm looking forward to using all this baby stuff. I can't wait. It's been so long since I've had a baby that I'm super excited to have a baby <laughs> but um let me put this little hat over here now i gotta put all her stuff up i got to remember to link all these people all these people will be linked below then all these other cards and those cards will get hung up somewhere <laughs> and i'm gonna leave my cards up for a while because they make me happy i like looking at them and i like rereading them and um i won't get i won't i don't have a lot of decorations for valentine's day so it'll just take up wall space so it'll make it look less empty in here because <laughs> after christmas the house always looks so empty when everything's put away but uh, thank you all so much for the cards and the gifts and everything. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure I got everything. I think there's a card at the post office today. I just didn't go today. I don't really want to go anywhere. I'm just going to stay home. So I'll show that whenever I do get around to picking it up. I also got a package at my mom's today that I wasn't expecting. And I'll share that um, whenever I pick it up from her. And then the next Happy Mail video after that. But yeah, this will probably be the last Happy Mail video of 2021. <laughs> Um, I'm sure I'll do another one right right into January to share that other card and that package that's at my at, ugh, okay the package that's at my mom's <laughs> uh, I talk it too fast but I'm gonna hop off here and put all these things away and then I'm gonna sit here and work on my um, pullover I got the whole first skein in it last night so there it is this is one whole skein <laughs> so I pulled out the second skein to uh, start it and I'm gonna sit here and watch some TV and do that and then later today, I'll probably start working on that rattle. Because I, I might be able to get this pullover done today. Because it's working up super fast. I also think I should have made that large size. I made it extra large because it's usually the size that I am and stuff like this. But uh, I tried this on last night and it was a little big. So if it's too big, I can just give it to someone. But if it's just a little big, I can maybe take in the sides just by weaving yarn through it. You know, I'm tightening it up a little bit. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> I'm super excited about it though. But yeah, so anyways, that's a happy meal. I'm gonna hop off because this isn't a vlog. <laughs> I will see you later tonight for another vlog though. Vlogmas day 28 will be coming out today. It'll probably be another boring one like um, yesterday's. Cause I'm not doing anything this week. I have no plans at all. We do have to go to the store in a few days to get some chocolate milk because me and Devin toast in the new year with chocolate milk. Because <laughs> um, even when I'm not pregnant, we, we don't drink. So, I mean, I like champagne every now and then. But um, like, I'm not going to buy a whole bottle just to toast in the new year. Anyways, um, we, we toast the chocolate milk. <laughs> and we'll probably do it way earlier. We we sometimes watch the ball drop an hour earlier because New York is an hour ahead of us. Um, but this year, I don't even know if I'll stay up that late. It really just depends on how I feel. Um, but, yeah, we just celebrated ourselves. And, uh, let's see, tomorrow's Watch Break on Wednesday, and then Thursday, I'm gonna do my goals video for 2021, and then on January 1st, my video for 2022 will come out. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off here now, because I'm burning up, and I need to get a fan in here. The air's on, but I don't feel it. <laughs> so, I will see you guys later today in Vlogmas, and throughout the week for some more videos. <laughs> Bye, guys.